Former President Donald Trump has won a big, decisive victory in South Carolina's primary. Happened last night, beating challenger Nikki Haley in her home state. But Haley vows to fight on. ABC's Jay O'Brien has more. Nikki Haley vowing to fight on in the Republican presidential primary despite a double-digit loss to former President Donald Trump on her home turf in South Carolina. And I'm grateful that today is not the end of our story. Trump beating Haley in a state where she successfully ran for governor twice, a decisive victory for the former president who campaigned little in the Palmetto State ahead of the primary. There's never been a spirit like this, and I just want to say that I have never seen the Republican Party so unified as it is right now. Some GOP voters like Mary Evans backing Haley in the primary, but open to casting a ballot for Trump over President Biden. Trump, I just feel like he's got more to offer us. But Haley supporters we met blasting Trump and not willing to count their candidate out. He's just gone off the rails now. He seems unhinged. If Trump ends up as the eventual nominee, do you see yourself supporting him again, or are you squarely with a person like Nikki Haley? You know, um, Trump has not secured the nomination yet, so I think that we should let Nikki fight this one out. Trump's win coming as he faces criticism for these comments made a day before the primary, using his four pending criminal cases in an attempt to appeal to black voters. And I got indicted a second time, and a third time, and a fourth time. And a lot of people said, that that's why the black people like me, because they have been hurt so badly and discriminated against. And they actually viewed me as I'm being discriminated against. It's, it's been pretty amazing. Haley calling Trump's remarks disgusting to ABC's Rachel Scott. That's the offensiveness that's going to happen every day between now and the general election, which is why I continue to say Donald Trump cannot win a general election. He won't. Haley's campaign is already turning its attention to beyond here in South Carolina to Michigan, whose primary is next week, and then the 15 states that will vote on Super Tuesday in early March. But polls show she's trailing Trump by double digits in each of those states, too.